Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of Relics of Roomba in our Stellaris Ancient Relics series, where Robert gave me a very, very good suggestion. He said, why don't you build a gateway in the Terminal Egress, which is a very, very good idea, if you ask me. And I actually already have a construction ship ready. I would, of course, not use it for any nefarious purposes, obviously. <laughs> it's purely, you know, stationary asset engaged. for defensive purposes. <laughs> so yes, I think that's a really good idea. So let's build that gateway over there. We are still attacking the Naj Klax Council. We have almost everything. And I have to check where all my fleets are. Are you bombing something? Or are you just over there? You are simply here. I think you were defending. And then I have a fleet here in Moa. And they're hurting a little bit. They have a disabled gateway over there. And there is a habitat. So, planet must be colonized. Oh, okay. It's not even colonized. Well then. So Moa doesn't have anything useful. Which means that we can take this fleet back through Bellatrix and then... Oh, not yet. Not yet any further because of the FTL inhibitor over here. Now, how are we doing here? I don't remember. Oh, okay. There's a there's a habitat here that we can take. There's no... Oh, uh, there is an army here. Army, army. Oh, we just flew in. Can you please just... Ah! Game. Game. Thank you. And then Eskelion is bombing a planet. Where we are bombing a planet, Eskelion. 493 garrison. Still quite a few defense pods over here. So I might want to be careful with that. Now my army is over here. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Uh, I am over cap. I need to think about that. I do have a monthly trade going. Oh, but then I, of course, have, uh, I, I get too much energy from that. So, I can sell that energy and buy what, exactly? I can buy some food. There we go. Okay. Ruined Dyson Sphere. We have encountered the remains of a Dyson Sphere in the Bellatrix system. It is obviously no longer operational, with its full, with its hull having sustained critical, critical damage from an unknown type of energy weapon. Of note are also the large debris fields surrounding the sphere. Although the megastructure itself is ancient, much of the debris in the system appears to be significantly younger. Most of it seems to originate from two distinct battle fleets that pummeled each other into oblivion, possibly in a war to decide ownership over the shattered sphere at some point in more recent galactic history. So it appears functionally similar to our own sphere, which means that we can probably repair it. The sphere could potentially be repaired, yes. Sweet. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Wow. I'm pretty impressed by this. It's, it's gorgeous. Look at all the energy. I need you in my life. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. And I think we'll almost be done with the Estasin, which means that we need to go... Uh, with the Nashklax, which means we need to go to the Estasin, actually. Now you are done. So how about you already go over here? And then I think this army is going to land now. Because there's oh, still 429 left, eh? You're not uh, bopping them very quickly, are ya? Alert. Spaceport engaged. Mm, okay, there's a hostile fleet in Markab. And now they're gone. Wait, what? How's that possible? Oh, they just took it away. That's okay. We can uh, we can go to Abatelis. And we'll see where they go. We do have a fleet coming in to Unuk, so they will encounter Hostile them as well. Fleet assets engage. Ah, there we go. You can go kill them. Have fun with that. Are you following them? No, you're not. You need to follow this fleet, guys. Seriously. Okay, uh, and then you. I just want to land, you know? 
get rid of this eighth defense pod first, and then we can land. There will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven armies left. I don't know how wide the battlefield is, but we'll just go and do it. Land. Done with these guys. Okay, so we are killing them now with our Planetary wishy tails. Protocols. Admiral Ladybug Floofington <laughs> is doing her thing. San Francisco has unemployment. But we need one more pop before we can do anything about that. So we'll have to wait. What about the other habitats over here? Hey, Admiral Ladybug Fluffington has developed new skills. Very good. She is now an engineer as well. Good for armor and hull regen. That's very useful. Now, let's see. I would like... Actually, we kind of need food, but I don't really want food. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Ministry of Culture. Hmm. We don't have that yet, but it's not very useful to put it here. Oh, the nanite transmuter. Let's do that, because we still, we have nanites. Let's put that on this planet, or, or on this habitat, I should say. Okay, so you got rid of them, which means you can also go to Unuk. And you got this planet, thank you. Okay, so um, let's look at the war score. Minus 286, yeah, we do have to go over to the uh, Istasen, okay. We are now ready to begin the colossal task of building the initial frame of our future ring world around the primary star of the Walmoro system. The amount of resources and materials required to, to build this skeletal frame will be immense, and hundreds of thousands of our finest engineers stand ready to begin the process of dismantling the system's planetary bodies into matter, which can be used in its construction. We are making history. Okay. Upgrade. The frame is being built! This is such, such a Megastructures playthrough. It, it was not planned, but I can say I'm quite pleased. I mean, why not, right? Megastructures are fun. So are you following that again? Complete. Yes, okay. So, Toxaz has corrupted networks. Too bad, too bad. Okay, you come in as well. Everybody just has to go there. <gasps> End game crisis! A weak but insistent signal transmits on repeat in the Advatir system. The transport fleet one has pinpointed its source to emanating from within the mouth of a destabilized subspace rift at the system's edge. What could be on the other side? Perhaps we shall find out. Oh. My. God. We need to finish this war. ASAP. <laughs> oh. Technological dear. acquisition successful. Fleet command limit has gone up. Let's get our, uh... Did I want a starbase? No, I want administrative capacity. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did I say oh man yet? Because I, I want to say oh man. Why are you- oh, okay, you're fine. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Is there a planet here in Advantir? No, there's just a wormhole. Okay, take the rest. And then get your butts over here. Everything here is mine, right? Everything. Literally everything. Okay. So we also have fleets here. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. 282. Oh man. What if we get the status quo? New Naj Clock's empire will be created as an ally or subject of Organic Roomba Federation out of 86 occupied systems. So that is actually an option. That is actually an option. If the endgame crisis hits and I really need to... Ship fragments dissected. ...do something about my resource distribution. Let's not worry about these planets just yet. They just need to stabilize and they won't, so... There's no point in really doing much about them. 
You need housing. Complete. That's maintenance depots, right? No, 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 no. That is, uh, where are you? Those drone things? Drone storage. Okay. So, is there a planet here? Yes, there is. Hey. How's your army size? Oh, wow! That's pretty big. Go and attack them. The, and then you guys, the Wishy Tails, do not have an army following them. Because you are following the Siamese Whisker. Okay, good. So the Wishy Tails could continue flying through other people's territory. Oh, can't. Because they're still an inhibitor. The League of Zactoria claims to have uncovered intel suggesting that we are building a secret launch platform for weapons of mass destruction on our ring world and request our permission to inspect the site. Our military advisors have yet to confirm whether it's an honest mistake or something more sinister. Either way, we should handle the situation delicately. I've never seen this before. League of Zactoria, where are you? Am I this blind? Blind? Trushnik blind? Trushnik blind. Oh, there you go. You guys? Are you serious? Wait, aren't you mine already? Yeah, vassal. You're my vassal. Okay. Um, It will halt the megastructure construction tool for 20 days, and it will please the League of Zactoria. I don't want them to sabotage it, though. I can accept- uh, I can upset them, because they really- I mean, seriously, they have nothing. They're disloyal, though. But I don't care that I. I don't care. You mean nothing to me. Uh, okay, you're going to Kimithar, right? It does look like you're going to Kimithar. Which is fine. Because I'm going to Kimithar, too. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill you over there. Too bad, man. Too bad. Oh, he jumped. <laughs> Poor thing. Okay, let's buy some more alloys. There we go. I have so much stuff, it's ridiculous. And why is there still an inhibitor here? You know what? Come help out with the bombing. Three fleets in your orbit? That is scary. Very, very scary. Now you're coming in as well. Everybody's piling in there. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay, so now you can go to Kafifi. <laughs> and... We can sell some of the minerals over here. I don't know why I have a surplus, because I'm... Am I getting more than... Yeah, I'm getting 316 extra per month. Okay, I see. That is fine. Okay, you can go to Tisalem. And then we'll go towards the Black Hole of Gindor. The Black Hole of Gondor. Oh, they're coming. This is all mine, though. I mean, I don't even know what you're gonna do about it. It's really not that much to take. So, it shouldn't be so hard. Oh, I can finally continue to fly out of here. That's nice. I mean, look at this. If, if you would have this right above your head, what would you say? I, th I mean, I would be... I think I would... I don't know what I would do. I would drop down to my knees and say, vassalize me, please. But uh, anyway, um, let's see. I want the wishy tails to go here, 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 and here. Okay. So you're fighting the First Order core. We'll be just fine. We just need this part. That's all we need. Oh, 
look. Galactic core, good. Oh, we have our site ready for the gateway in the terminal egress. Upgrade. And did we build everything we wanted here? Yes, we did. Very good. Very good. You go to the egress, be a little bit closer in case we do need you somewhere. Surely this can't take much longer. 590 garrison now. Okay, that means that one of you. Successful. Energy weapon damage. Okay, good. Let's get shield hit points for that uh, nice, nice uh, endgame crisis that is coming in soon. You are going here. So you are the ones who remain. And I think that we can probably attack soon. Just get rid of this 42nd defense army. And then as these guys come in, you can go to Xer and to Olimar. Hit him, boys! So you did your job. After that, you go to Pace. Oh, you're going to Pace. Planetary pacification. I guess you don't have to go to Pace then. So you just go here. Actually, you go here. And then you go to Xur and Stimsis. We're still fighting. We have reserves. They don't. Good. They do have disengaged troops that will probably survive, but our general Furry Purry, <laughs> Furry Purry, is doing, uh, doing their best. Oh man, that signal. That signal. Scary. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay. So you're following them again, right? Yes. The Whisker will continue to fly to Salea. Market, sell. What are we going to buy? Let's get some more food again. So we don't have any issues there. Now, Faradex is a good world now. So we do have some unemployment here. Let's get. Uh, we do need housing as well. Actually, we have a lot of available jobs. So, let's just build a district. Come on, boys. What you gonna do when Druzhnik comes for you? Hmm? What you gonna do? You should roll over and die. That's the best strategy. <laughs> we just need a few more. We might be just in time before the endgame crisis hits us. But I don't know for sure. I would like this this game to be optimized so that the end game is not that laggy. Cause this is this is partly my computer, but not really. Because um, everybody has these problems. Where are you going? Okay, so who's going to Soleil? Uh, okay, you are going. Let's wait with you, because I don't want anybody else to slip through again. Rexas is getting critical. Okay, fine. Call me when I care. Okay, now, now we're doing something. Now we're seeing things. I'm excited about this. I'm so excited. Now, do I want to move you out, maybe? I mean, it's not going to be useful to move them out, though. Hmm. Don't know. Hey, you should not be going first. That's not a good idea. Okay. We also need peace, and we need to reinforce our fleets. Okay, good. 
Now that you have come in, you two can go to Estasen. Okay, now you have no orders left, so you go here. You're gonna go to Olimar. Construction complete. Surely this is almost everything we need. There is a planet, though, here in Aldib. We should not forget about that. And then Solea. You do have a habitat that we can immediately take. And then this planet probably needs some bombing. Just a little bit. Just bomb it a little bit. Okay. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Now you two need to start bombing Istasi. Because that probably has pretty good defenses. Oh, not that good, actually. They had better better planets. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay, so you're done there. Let's have you immediately take Avasur. And then one of these fleets can immediately go to Playone and Ebleen. And then, what do we have here? Is that a habitat or a planet? That's a planet. 233, eh? Just go and take Planetary it. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. You go to Galurum in the meantime. And then you guys need to return. Take that. How is this planet doing? Complete. Okay, these are very small garrisons, so we can take that in the place. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Okay, Lilo Scratchit seems to be approaching the limit of their abilities. That is fine. You're going to play young. Okay, we have everything now. I earn almost everything. Units have achieved all objectives. So you have achieved all objectives. Oh, we have this as well. Which means that you can go to Aldib and take that planet. You go with them. Okay. You have taken this. Which means that you can start following them again. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay. Now you go take the fridge, Frigilin. What minus one hundred and eight? Hmm. Let's look at Pand Pendalore. Okay, Planetary that has pacification protocols initiated. So let's see. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Are we still fighting here? Yes, we are. When you're done, I'm going to send you over to the other. Actually, ground invasion units have You guys are closer, objectives. aren't you? So you go take Pendalore. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay, good, good, good. And now you take Baloras. You are following. No, you, you're not following. You need to follow them. And then we still have. Oh yeah, we still have Istasin. Right. You come here. You have nothing left. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Okay, we can we can totally get Estasi now. Ground invasion units. Land the armies over objectives. here. And now you are going. We have taken everything over here. Literally everything. We have taken everything here, I'm pretty sure. You're gonna take that. Fleon has no planet. So it's Planetary just... pacification protocols initiated. It's just Estasin, right? Yeah, it's just Estasin, okay. Okay, good. Um, let's buy Planetary some Planetary pacification food. protocols initiated. Ooh, our edicts are expiring. Okay, let's get them back. Ooh, it was capacity overload. Okay, I guess that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That was a different edict. So, are you fighting? Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay, good. Good. 
So, Chief Workles. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Become mine? Oh, the game's like, Ugh. victory? Pause. Pause. Okay. So now the Naj clocks are mine as well. <laughs> you aren't, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate. Because I had spent so much time taking everything. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta break up the best of friends, right? Okay, so you, everybody just go home, okay? Return. Are you following anybody? Yes. Return. Everybody is returning. Good. You're following them? Nope, you're not. Return. So all my fleets are now returning back to their homeland. So we own, let's see, everything over here, this part, all of this is ours, this is ours, this is ours, this is ours. So basically three quarters of the galaxy is ours. It really is just the end game crisis now, look at that. <laughs> the Kuvarians and the Kadeshi, they're all trying to be a little cheeky, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't care. You're following, right? Okay, good. So, as all our fleets are returning home, it is time to prepare for the endgame crisis. We finished this war just in time, which is uh, good, I guess. And I think in the next episode, we will see what hits us. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in Relics of Roomba come out about two or three, three times a week at 8 p.m. CET. And I will see you next time.